Welcome to a screencast on an introduction to oxidation reduction reactions. And let's start by considering the following reaction. If we take some hydrochloric acid, HCl aqueous, and add to that some zinc metal, zinc solid, what we see happening pretty much right away is a lot of bubbling and fizzing occurs and that is the production of hydrogen gas, H2. And then over time, the amount of zinc gets less and less. There's less visible zinc. And if we either didn't add too much zinc or had sufficient hydrochloric acid, eventually all of the solid zinc disappears. We no longer see any solid. And what has been forming uh, in this case is zinc 2 chloride, ZnCl2. Now we can write the equation for the reaction that takes place. Zinc solid plus hydrochloric acid, HCl, forms zinc 2 chloride, ZnCl2, plus hydrogen gas, diatomic, H2. And then, of course, we can balance the chemical equation, and we have a correct, uh, complete chemical equation describing the process, the reaction that takes place. Now we can also note that we have chloride ion in HCl, and we have chloride ion in zinc 2 chloride. Both are aqueous, so the ions are floating around, and uh, the hydrogen ion actually changed to hydrogen gas. The zinc solid changed to zinc 2 plus ions, but the chloride ions were just floating around at the start and at the end as chloride ions, so they're spectator ions, and so we can also write this reaction as a net ionic equation uh, zinc solid plus two hydrogen ions make zinc two plus ions plus hydrogen H2 gas. And the advantage of this is the usual advantage of net ionic equation is it's only showing the things that actually react and is not cluttered up with uh, ions that are uh, just spectating. Now let's look in a little more detail at this reaction. And the key thing to note here is that the zinc solid we started with reacts to make zinc 2 plus ions, so the zinc lost electrons. And the chemical term for a process where electrons are lost is oxidation, and we would say that the zinc is oxidized in this reaction. Now if we look at the hydrogen, it starts as hydrogen ion, it forms hydrogen, uh, the element, diatomic molecules of hydrogen, so hydrogen ended up gaining electrons, and the chemical term for a process where electrons are gained is reduction, and so we say that hydrogen or hydrogen ion gains electrons and is reduced. Now these don't maybe sound like the most sensible terms to come up with for gaining and losing electrons. Uh, there's a historical reason for these terms, oxidation and reduction, or being oxidized or being reduced. Uh, but to chemists in general, oxi oxidizing means losing electrons, reducing means gaining electrons, or the process of oxidation is losing electrons, the process of reduction is gaining electrons. Now one other thing to note with this reaction is that the zinc loses two electrons to form the zinc 2 plus ion, and two hydrogen ions each of the hydrogen ions actually gains one electron, and since there's two hydrogen ions, then there's a total of two electrons gained to form the hydrogen gas, H2. And this is always going to be the case in an oxidation reduction process. The number of electrons quote unquote lost and the number of electrons quote unquote gained have to be equal. We can't have electrons disappearing or just reappearing or appearing out of thin air. Electrons are actually being transferred. Uh, that, that's why the lost and gained are in uh, quotes there because really the zinc didn't lose electrons. It simply um, transferred the electrons to the hydrogen ion uh, and that's how the hydrogen ion gained electrons is from the zinc. Now another thing to note is that the zinc is oxidized, and by being oxidized, by losing electrons itself, it provides electrons for the hydrogen ion to, to gain. 
And so zinc is called the reducing agent because it helps the other substance, the hydrogen ion, be reduced. And then similarly, the hydrogen ion, which is in fact, in, in fact itself reduced, helps the other thing, the zinc, be oxidized, and so it's called the oxidizing agent. And this is true in general, whichever substance is oxidized is the reducing agent, whichever substance is reduced is the oxidizing agent. And that's it for an introduction to oxidation reduction.